Hey everyone, this is Elias from RevMatch Media. Today we're going to be test driving the 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. Now, if this doesn't say American Icon, I don't know what does. Now, let's take a look at some of the things that I enjoyed this week with the Jeep. Now, I want to get started on the front. There's no way you can mistake in this for any other car, SUV, whatever you want to call it, than a Jeep. You have the iconic Wrangler grille. Uh, one of my favorite things with this, and I'm sure some of the older Jeep owners um, can appreciate this, and I've seen the upgrades uh, available on those as well, are the headlights. So these are really bright really clean headlights so this is a huge upgrade from i remember back in like the early 90s when you bought the when you needed to replace the bulb and it was the entire uh sort of assembly itself because that was the bulb in itself uh, so again we have the the iconic grill that says jeep these guys have been awesome as well the daytime running lights a uh, very clean very nice design and they look great they look great when they're on and we also have these little uh, fog lights here, which small little detail, but definitely a huge increase in light output when you need that extra light. Maybe if you're in a foggy situation at night or you know somewhere in a small trail like this. So definitely a, a big plus. Now we have some, some grabbing points here uh, in case you're stuck and you're needing to pull something or be pulled. Um, uh, we have those there uh, and we have just kind of the height it's it's a little bit of a higher uh, with the Rubicon uh, it's a higher stance and it just looks great I mean it, it, it's it demands presence especially with this really bright yellow color now when we come to looking under the hood it's very simple to open up just a matter of a couple of latches one on each side and you have your typical thing where you have to always fiddle and try to figure out how this one was made. So you can open it up and you have the prop that you can easily just put down and it'll hold it. But we're gonna do things a little bit different. Let's, uh, let's do things the Jeep way. So if you're very careful, you're, you can actually open this up all the way back. Just be careful with letting it settle down. And here we go. We have access to the entire engine, which is really awesome. Uh, I mean, obviously if it's, if you're someone like myself that likes to work on their cars, this is really great to have. Now, when we look at the Jeep, we have a 2.0 liter uh, four cylinder turbo uh, made it to a automatic transmission and obviously we have the the 4x4 option with this now you're probably thinking so I actually with this I didn't know this was a uh, a turbocharged engine till I was you know going a little bit on it and I heard a small whistle and was wondering man I wonder if this thing is turbocharged and lo and behold it is what's incredible is that you have a really smooth power delivery. I, the reason I was so confused was because I thought, you know, this was either a, you know, big four cylinder or if it was a six cylinder or, or you know, a larger six cylinder, but the power delivery was so smooth, really surprised me. What's great about it is that you, um, you don't feel turbo lag. It, the power feels like it's always on. So it's definitely a great little engine and fuel consumption wasn't that bad. Uh, I mean, I, I wish it could be less, I could be, could be more, but obviously when we have a big car like this, um, you know, you're not gonna get your, your compact car gas mileage. But at 17, averaging about 17 miles to the gallon, uh, it definitely did a great job at, you know, conserving some power and obviously depends on how you drive the car. Now, when we go connected into the eight, eight gear uh, transmission, now typically, like you guys know, I like uh, manuals more. It's just, I feel like I'm more in control with the car and I can determine what gear I want the car to be in. 
I didn't mind this being automatic. This was actually really good. It did the job. It was uh, very well mapped out. So the transmission uh, control unit is very well done. Um, you know, when you're on the highway and you really need to pass someone, the transmission shifts to the right gear. So it does find the right gear. And it, you know, it really teams up very well with the turbocharged engine. So this is definitely a great little package. And again, I was surprised. I was thinking, okay, we're gonna be dealing with, with a six cylinder or a really large four cylinder. Um, but this little guy surprised me. Now, we're gonna get low and we're gonna get tall. So we're dealing with the uh, 17 inch wheels uh, on the Jeep. This one has the 285-70 on it. So nice, big, chunky tires, uh, especially when you're off-roading because obviously it's a Jeep. You're gonna wanna have some fun in it. And you know, these tires are actually really great. It's the uh, BF Goodridge All-Terrain TA KO2 looks like. Uh, I'm not too familiar with more uh, on the off-road side of things, um, but from what I've been able to use it, you know, on just some light roads uh, off-roading, uh, it's been great. It's been gripping. It, I haven't felt any real slip. Um, so this combination works really well with the drivetrain and making sure that, you know, we're really putting the power down because there's no worse feeling than being off-road and not being able to put the power down. Uh, so these guys really get the job done and they look great. A little dirty, but you know, it's all in fun. Moving to the side profile, you can see this has the hard top option. I've never, I've never had a vehicle or I've never driven a vehicle where you could literally take the roof off of it, um, <laughs> including the doors. But uh, I didn't get to try the doors out, but I can tell you that the roof is actually pretty easy. Um, now what's great about this, again, with keyless entry, just a matter of opening the doors and it's actually pretty easy to get in. And there's literally just a couple of latches on each side. And in a matter of seconds, your roof is off and you can see through the top and just as simple again, just a couple of latches on each, on each side and you repeat the same and you're good to go. You already have let the not so bright sun in that we're having today, just really clouds, but it really opens it up and makes it for an, a, definitely a different experience. And as you can see in this picture, when I did get to test drive it off road, um, I decided to go with full doors off and the top as well and really bring in nature inside which i ended up being a little bit on the on the dustier side but it made for some fun times when you get to the back it's unmistakably jeep so it definitely has the iconic shape in the rear and we have this full size spare in the back which is great because if you're off-roading you get a puncture or you get any damage to one of the wheels you have this to help you out and it's out of the way of your compartment for your, uh, you know, for the rear to make sure you get the most out of a trunk space. So the way that you open this up, it's actually two parts. And what's great about it is it actually is keyless. So as soon as you put your hand in there, you can hear the locking me mechanism unlock and you're able to open it up. So you open that up that way and we have the rear window or the rear glass that opens up and you're able to see that it has plenty of space. So let's get in. So it's just a matter again, keyless entry. And I thought it was gonna be a little tough to get in the Jeep, but it's really not that tough. And now when you get in, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different than your typical car. It does have a fairly smaller uh, dashboard uh, than you're typically used to than you know having a long one and my brother having owned a beetle a new beetle uh 2003 those things are really long so this was definitely and i've driven that before so this is definitely a little bit of a of a change with having just kind of that width and you can see based on my gopro it's maybe a little bit of the 
yeah, it's about that width. Um, now I actually had to put the camera on the side door on the window because the glass is actually flat and my suction cup doesn't really mount that way. Um, but it's great. I mean, you have your nice little handle here when you're going off road and things get a little intense, you can grab onto that. Um, the steering wheel feels great. Um, you have this nice anodized looking uh, finish to this. Red might not have been my best choice with the combination of yellow on the outside. So I don't know if this is can be changed, but yellow inside would have been awesome as well. Um, or maybe even a carbon fiber. I'm sure there's so many different aftermarket parts out there for these things that I'm sure there's someone that makes a carbon fiber cover for this, which would be more to my taste. When we come over to the kind of center console, we have your basic controls and we have your volume controls. We have your heating and cooling and we have your auto off, which we're going to go ahead and turn that off because we don't like that. And just constant turning it off and turning it on definitely will save fuel. But for me, I like to have it just constantly on. Uh, we have your traction control button to turn off. It's not full time off because I have turned it off and accelerated and it does kind of kick in a little bit. Um, and then we come down to kind of the controls for the windows. One of the things that it's kind of weird with this is that we have, uh, not weird, it's just you're not used to, but you have to remember this is a Jeep. The doors come off. So, so thankfully we have the doors on today. So that, that camera is still on, but it has the, the, uh, window controls in the center console so you can raise and lower obviously all four um, one thing that's always a pet peeve of mine is is auto down is great but auto up is even better but this doesn't have it so definitely I, I mean I can imagine if you're if you're off-roading and all of a sudden you just see a lot of a lot of dust about to get kicked up auto up would be great because you just set it up and you focus on the steering or the driving you have the bottom part is now more on the differentials we can lock it front and rear or rear only sway bar sway bar was great uh till i used it on the road it can disconnect and reconnect on its own by just the push of a button great feature um, you don't want to turn it on when you're just on regular roads because it's going to sway. That's what a sway bar prevents from happening. It stops the car or, or in this case, the Jeep from swaying. But thankfully, there is a safety feature will, where you, if you reach a certain miles per hour, it will automatically kick in. Now, we have four aux buttons, which I've yet to find all the auxes but somehow there's four auxes to, I guess, put audio and you can switch into them. When we come to the head unit, again, very similar. If you're familiar with like, uh, if you're familiar with the FCA family of things, uh, it's, you're going to be very sim familiar with this. My favorite thing with, with it though, is the off-road option. So there's actually some really cool, uh, off-road functions that you can, uh, it's called off-road pages where it lets you see things like the steering angle, what you have your, your transfer case set to, um, your sway bar if it's connected, if your axles are locked or not, accessory gauges, so coolant temperature, oil temperature, battery voltage, trans temp, and oil pressure. So great things, especially when you're pushing it a little bit out there and you want to make sure you're within the safe ranges. So great great option there and then the pitch and roll this is just fun i mean to to see it, it's kind of like uh what a prius has to its eco mode and you know how efficient can you be uh, you know and, and you kind of make it a game that's that's what this is for the jeep the off uh, the pitch and roll how how much can you pitch it how much can you have a roll on it so don't go too much though because Obviously, you've, you guys have all seen those uh, rear wheel covers that says, if you can read this, there's problems or you're in trouble or flip me over, one of those. Uh, so definitely a cool little added bonus. 
backup camera. Now this one has the backup camera only. I have driven a Jeep. I forget which one it is. I want to say it's the Gladiator um, that has the front camera. That was excellent. Um, it was either the Gladiator or the Renegade, one of those. Front camera was amazing because it now lets you go out on the trail by yourself and have a little bit more guidance. So instead of having that person out there kind of guiding you, the cameras can help you out. So uh, I don't know, I, I think it, you're, you have this available. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure I'm gonna hear it in the comments or just let me know, but front camera, or I'm sure you can accessorize it as well as uh, from, a, from, you know, uh, other manufacturers of, of um, accessories for Jeeps. But front camera is definitely a great feature let's get going now what i really like about the uh jeep and let's actually we're gonna turn off the sway bar because we are going to be moving a little bit but this is actually a really good vehicle off-road you know literally it's off the showroom floor it's nothing has been done to this but it's very very capable and there's a little bit of a bump here up there but you can see without the sway bar connected, it really can get the, the Jeep swaying, which is what you want. You want the tires to kind of go over the train and, and get it through and going. What's unbelievable about this is the turning radius. I have never been in a car or, you know, even in my small Volkswagen Golf, the turning radius isn't this tight. This thing is, unbelievable i could literally like if i go to park in a spot and i second guess myself and you know kind of like when you pass it and you're like oh i'm gonna have to reverse just screw it let me just go to the next one don't worry about it in a jeep you could literally just turn the wheel and it's gonna get there that's a lot to say for you know a bigger vehicle like this so it definitely has a great turning radius and it's been one of the things that i immediately noticed and thought wow my mom would love this because she's always it's funny my mom always said you know um with her cars she's like this thing better be able to let me park really tight into a spot you know if it's it, you know i don't want to have to be moving you know austin powers kind of thing so this definitely you know doesn't let doesn't do that to you so again we are on too high and you can see i mean it, it can really it can really do the course. it's not super difficult course for it um but it can really get it up there now we're gonna climb a little bit here and see if it can do it in too high i'm sure it can this is a trail rated model and that badge means a lot so that means a lot in a jeep that means you literally can take it off the showroom floor and basically drive it off-road and it, it definitely is capable of backup camera and it's definitely capable of doing what you need it to do let's see so we're gonna climb down let's see what our our uh, let's see our pitch we're at nine degrees can we do ten no we did nine ten yes we did ten there <laughs> so again it's kind of a fun little thing now again with with me being more on the sports car kind of thing this is a different world and i can see the the novel not the novelty but the the love for what this is and what you can do in in a jeep it's it's fun it's a fun thing to do so i i definitely like i said i can see why you jeep lovers love your jeeps oh let's see if we can catch there's a manhole right there oh how much do we So I'm purposely looking for the bumps. You know, got to put this to, to work a little bit. But yeah, I mean, overall, this, this Jeep has been a great vehicle. Now, when we look at the entertainment system, uh, it does have an Alpine system, subwoofer in the rear, and, and, the subwoofer, and the speakers are right up here. And they need to be, obviously, with the doors being able to be taken out. And it's loud. And I think definitely, if you're planning on taking these guys off 
and just having it in open air, you want to get a big system. You want to get the more premium system because you're now in open air and you want to be able to hear the music because it's going to get loud. And that's one of the things with the Jeep. It's not the quietest ride, um, but it's a Jeep. Like you're not, you're, you're not going to be, it's one of those faults that you'll say, it's okay. I, I allow it you know not to be perfect in every aspect uh, because it's a jeep and it's gonna make you smile so it's definitely again not the quietest so if you take these guys off it's gonna be even louder so just you know definitely opt for the alpine uh, premium system because it is going to help out with those noisier roads or those noisier trips and you can really crank it up and it's got a great sound um, i did have to tweak it a little bit I had to tweak it a little bit to uh, give it a little bit more kick on the low end uh, for a subwoofer because it, it was lacking a little bit. Cool. So now we are back on the road. Let's see if we can uh, get it going now. Yeah, I mean the 2.0 it's very linear very linear the transmission is amazing the way that this was mapped is really incredible it's a very smooth uh power delivery it doesn't doesn't have the you know your typical turbo lag that's just gonna you know kind of bat out of hell uh shoot you and 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 lose control and you don't need that i mean and, and it's not that it's it's slow because by all means it's not it's really has a good amount of power to really get it going and the the transmission again it i i didn't have to put it in manual i haven't put it i put it in manual maybe twice to play around with it and see how it kind of works um but there's no need to the the tuning on it is spectacular and having it in two-wheel drive you know so obviously towards the rear is plenty for when you're on the on the road um unless obviously you're you're needing more traction we did we did have it on four high when it was a little bit on the wetter side uh just to be sure but we actually just turned it back to too high because the traction control was doing enough of the work there was really no need um and and i mean you know seats are super comfortable and there's no there's no need for any different seats uh, love the stitching on it love the rubicon name on it and like i said it's comfortable i can i can really do a long trip on this but there is one thing that was a little bit or is a little bit kind of mm, which i don't know if it's this specific model that this specific vehicle or if it's something with typical jeeps um, and let me know in the comments because it'll definitely help me out to kind of know what i should be expecting if i'm considering this as my next vehicle but it does have a tendency of and uh, of kind of pushing and pulling a lot so i'm having to constantly be correcting the wheel to offset that push and pull that i'm getting granted we did have some of the highest winds recently so that didn't really help the jeep and my impression of the jeep but it really uh you know and you know with it being a higher vehicle and me not used to how it being a higher vehicle is that the typical thing to expect when you have a jeep that it'll sway a little bit more than normal let me know coming back to the back seat lots of space plenty of space little guy loved it i did have to put them in the middle i don't like to put them in the middle uh, and i guess it's just the design of my my baby seat that i have for him or or, or his uh, toddler seat is the angle that it was on so the the back seat is very straight uh still comfortable though but his his seat kind of has an angle so it was not really secure i didn't feel secure in the on the side seats so i did have to put them in the middle I put him in the middle and I think he enjoys it more because he's able to see everything uh, in front of him. There is a little step in the middle as well to help him give him that little extra boost to get into a seat. So that's definitely helpful. Um, 
Only thing is, obviously, he's now playing with the AC vents in the middle. But uh, yeah, it's been a, he's been loving it. He's obviously, what's there not to love when you're a five-year-old and you're riding in a Jeep and it's yellow. It's a bright yellow Jeep. It's made everyone smile and they love it. Coming back to, again, the power. It really gets it going. And, you know, I was at, at a pretty low RPM and it switched over to the right gear. You can baby it as well. Doing about 17 miles to the gallon. Um, if you really baby it, uh, I got to borrow it back from my wife and I saw that she had dropped my high score of 17 miles to 15 miles per gallon average. So if you do want to get and step on it like she can a little bit sometimes, uh, just be aware that it can hog a little bit more gas than maybe a, a, a hybrid version or, or more fuel efficient version of, you know, like another SUV. Well, it's been a fun week and I've had nothing but a blast in this. So it's not just about how it looks on the outside where, you know, you have all these kids looking at it and, or you remember as a kid looking at a Jeep and just couldn't help but smile because after all, it is a fun looking vehicle and there's so much history attached to it. And also the, the fun aspect of it where, you know, you buy a Jeep and you wanna go ahead and take it off road. And that's what made this vehicle so great for me was, I was able to take it on lighter off-road courses, but I wasn't scared of, you know, of getting stuck. Uh, I was very confident. I focused more on enjoying it. So I knew I had the correct equipment in the sense of, you know, all the, the, the differential locking, you know, all the, all the drivetrain options that you have with this. And, I felt safe, so and it made me focus on just having a good time. So I can see definitely the appeal with these guys, especially with the aftermarket world. You can customize your Jeep to no end. There's so many options for these things in the aftermarket. So you, and, and even from the factory itself, you can add tons of light accessories to it. You can add a winch to the front, different bumpers, different suspension, different drivetrain. So it, it's wheels, of course, the never ending options of wheels for the Jeep Wrangler. So I can see the appeal of these guys and I love it. I've had a blast with this and hope you've enjoyed my review and everyone guys, make sure you find the right gear.